Hi everyone, Rainy here, and today we're going to step back. How did I say one step forward, two steps back? <laughs> I'm not talking about the dance move. I need to back up and redo some stuff. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now that the boat has its first coat of primer and I've had a chance to come down and see, I think everything looks pretty good on this side. You can see a little bit of the weave coming through, like right over here, but I think the primer will fill that in. So now this is the side of the boat that's away from the house, as you can see. So the sun is beating on this side and you can see it really good. Now, this morning, I came out to see the boat and the sun is on the other side as it comes around the, the house. What I'm seeing is the weave from the fiberglass is a lot deeper. And you can see the overlap right over here from one sheet to the other is very pronounced. And look at the weave down here. I had thought I got this all already, but it's just not ready. <laughs> The paint over here it looks pretty good and on the bottom there's some places like right over here and you can see where the weave is still showing through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it see those little holes there I'm going to sand it down to get it rough and if I'm not able to sand down the weave I think I'm going to do a, a skim coat with West epoxy and probably the Q-cells, so light, you know, make it a thinner version. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can cover a lot of that up. Because I don't think the primer and the paint will cover it. And you can see over here, it's really not too bad. There's some weave right over here. So, yeah, I think I need to skim coat the whole thing. See here, it's very light. I don't know if you can see because of the shade. But this side is a lot better than the other side. Over here it's really pitted. And the reason for that is because this is the sunny side. So I spent more time or I was able to see this better. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Okay, here's what I did. I went to all the places where the fiber was showing through, like over here. And I tried to sand it out. And I found that by starting to sand it out, I was going right through the fiberglass and starting to touch the wood. The other side I did quite extensively, and you can see the wood everywhere. So, oops, I got shadow in the way, huh? So I figured I had to do something else. So let me show you what I did on the other side. I actually took some of my West System Epoxy and I mixed it up with some 205, uh, the fast hardener, and with some of my uh, fairing, uh, the, the, the balloons, whatever you call it, the fairing compound. Mixed it up, made it uh, fairly thick, and tried to spread it out with a squeegee. And you can see it covered pretty much everything. I can still see some uh, of the weave you can still see some of the weave here and it's funny because i had sanded it almost all the way down to the wood so what i'm going to do after this is i'm going to sand that down lightly and see if i can get rid of the weave and uh you can see i i did uh probably or i did one half all at once and that stuff it hardens pretty fast. I probably shouldn't have done the fast hardener, but I didn't want to have drips. And as you can see, I got streaks because it was starting to harden, but not really drips going down, which is good. So I'm going to let that dry and sand it uh, probably tomorrow or the next day and see how it came out. If it worked good, I'm going to do the other side. If not, I'm just going to sand the other side down and paint it. So either way, when you see it next, it should either have some primer on it or paint on it again. <laughs> oh, this has been fun. 
So that's it. I'm calling it a day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope maybe you picked up some tips from my mishap and you learned something. If not, I hope you got a laugh out of it. <laughs> Either way, I appreciate you being here with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.